haven't really found. Um... Hey, Brun, we just went offline. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Just went offline on Twitch. Yeah, we just dropped everything. Um. Hey, Brun. We there we go. Offline. We're back. We're back. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, just went offline on Twitch. Yeah, we just dropped everything. Oh. All right. We're back. Yay, we're um, back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear myself talking. Okay. Um, I I think that, it's that'll Twitch. That'll make fun for all kinds of stuff. This week. It has to be Twitch. It has to be Twitch. Um, Maybe they're having issues or something. I don't know. Because now everything's back to normal. Okay. Um, continuing. Uh, what I was saying is um, the, the list that they gave out is... is, is is junk. It's kind of one of those things I didn't remember that this was even there. But then, so the second part that I want to ask, and I want for you guys thing, and the reason why I said backwards compatibility is, is backwards, is because the top voted games. I went to the list where they show your top voted games, and people are clueless on what to ask for when it comes to backwards compatibility. Okay, because Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is number one. And then you have Skyrim and Red Dead Redemption. Okay, Skyrim and Red Dead Redemption, those are games that you want to ask for in backwards compatibility. Because those are huge games that don't have sequels that don't come out every single year. <laughs> so after, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and Skyrim and Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption, you have... Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty, World at War, then Mass Effect 3. <laughs> I I look and you have all Call of Duty games. Now, I don't know if this was done as a joke or if this is people being serious because I don't know anything in the Call of Duty series that is worth bringing back from the dead, or sorry, <laughs> worth bringing back 12 months after the previous release comes out. Because the game's dead. The story's dead. I mean, I guess if you want to go back and play the single player, but that bad? You want to play well, it that Call bad? Call of Duty Black Ops. Call of Duty Black yeah. Ops is in progress. Yeah, and they're making... And, that, and that's the thing. So... They, you have to go all the way down to number four or number five in the list. It's in progress. So Black Ops is in progress, everybody. Hopefully you're happy about that. No Mass Effect 3, no Fallout Vegas, no Left 4 Dead 2, no Mass Effect 2. Oh, Bioshock Infinite. Oh, finally. You go all the way down the bottom toward the list, 49,000 votes, Halo Wars. It's coming. It's in progress. Well, Halo Wars is because it's a Microsoft product. And that That's was a, a given. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much title. a given. Yep. Right. So it's if there was no votes, it was still coming. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then it goes to the second page. You got Bioshock. It's in progress, and I think that's about it. Or a uh, Skate Three. I'm surprised we don't see like Madden 2007 in there or something. Bioshock Two. Well, yeah. Okay. So well, I mean, Tony Hawk series. Voting for the Tony Hawk series to come back People is like them. voting for Call of Duty games to come back. Skate's coming, baby. Uh, yeah, Skate 3. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's just the number of votes. 144,000 votes for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Or Black Ops 2. You, you, you got to go down. Uh, just When I saw that list, I was just like, oh my gosh, come on. So, you know, I have one of mine coming back. Which is uh, which is which we already knew because it's Halo Wars. They said all first party titles. Um, the other one I want is Mass Effect Three. Now we know we got Mass Effect because it was Microsoft, Microsoft published. No word on Mass Effect Two or Mass Effect Three. I want Mass Effect Three. I want Red Dead Redemption. What do you guys? What what's something that would actually get you to put it in and 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 play? Throw a game at me. Nothing. Nothing. You, you're moving on. We already got to your point. Oh, okay, okay. I'll, There's got to be I'll, one. For the, for the sake of it, I'll give it to you. Crackdown 1 and 2. Oh, that's that's good choices. That's good choices. Just, just, so I could, I, just so I could play them, 
um, before, you know, uh, what do you call it? Before the Crackdown 3 comes out. It might be nice to boot that up and play it, but, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I got the 360 and I got the discs. I can, I can already do that. Right, right. But for convenience reasons and to give you a bone, <laughs> Crackdown 1 and 2. Yeah. And Splinter Cell Blacklist. Oh, that's a good one, too. Well, and plus, you can play them with the new controller, which is nice. Well, it's not really not a convenience for me anymore. I don't have access to a 360. So m- one of my, my boys' 360 blew up, and he took mine. So I have all my games. I don't have a 360 anymore. Okay. So, I you mean, do. You just take it back. No, take yeah, it back. Yeah, that's not going to work. He uses it all the time. So, I mean, he uses it for to watch yeah. TV and, and uh, all that stuff. So. Yeah, well... <laughs> You the man, you the boss. You take it back. <laughs> He's getting bigger than take me. Get your own. Yeah. He's taller than me, oh, getting stronger okay. as we speak. <laughs> so never mind. Give him what he wants. Give him what he wants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Party Up Live just mentioned Burnout Revenge. Just there's so many awesome racing games on the 360. I'd love to see those Splinter in Cell. compatibility. Splinter Cell was a good pick, Wing. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that was that was Blacklist the last one? Yeah, yes. it was. It was. That what was, was the one before that? Game. What was the one before that? Conviction. Convi- no, no. Yes, Conviction was before it. I thought there was another one after Conviction. Hmm. I will have to look it up. Yeah, do that. Uh, because I got I got Blacklist on PC actually, so I can play it. <laughs> um, I got it with my graphics card. For some reason, I thought there was another one before that. Um, There's Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell and Splinter Cell Endgame no. came out about the same year. It's probably uh, yeah, it's it was not. Co- you're see what this you're is. right. Uh, Carbide the second half of the Conviction novel. Carbide said you're right. It's Conviction. Maybe I was thinking of another game. Yeah, I'm that, that's at the it. one where the first. The first episode or the first level is like you're walking oh, in the streets. Um, yeah, it was Double Agent was before that. Right, okay. Yeah, Yeah. So, Conviction was where you were walking through the streets. Yeah, and then like and the then stuff would show up on the walls. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, Conviction. Oh, those two games are so good. That That's yeah, why because, I'm so it, Well, it depends, too. I mean, I like them because they broke the Splinter Cell kind of mold of the way those games were. Right. I never cared for them previously because they were really slow, all stealthy. Conviction kind of got a little less stealthier. You could kind of do a little gunplay. Then Blacklist was like, play it how you want. Oh, and there was a couple levels that required stealth, but you could go and gunplay it. And I, I still think Blacklist is probably one of the best games on the 360 to date. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So good. Very good. Yeah, so anybody out there, if you, if you want to go do some votes, you're more than welcome to. It's um, user xbox.com, user voice, or xbox.uservoice.com. So and you can look for the backwards compatibility. Please go vote for all the Call of Duties that you would like. Um, <laughs> and go from there. But, uh, all right. Um, I'm voting for the XCOM. XCOM? Because they don't have any XCOM. They don't have them on Xbox One. Oh, yeah. And even X- XCOM 2 was PC only, which, oh, freaking ticked me off. Yeah. Oh, yep, Skyrim. Skyrim was uh, on the list. I think it was, what, two or three? Um, Red yeah, Dead Redemption. I, I mean, that's that's the crazy one to think that it's hasn't been out yet. Skyrim's number two. Red Dead is number three. Yeah. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is number one. Right. So, oh, thank you, Carby. So. so, Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow, Chaos Theory, Double Agent, Conviction, and then Blacklist. But all right, very cool. I just wanted to see how what you guys thought and, and, and things like that because you know it was like this big. I mean, it was a huge, like you said, a huge PR, and 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 it's great that it's there. That's what I mean. It's it's really nice that it's there if I ever need it. But when will I need it is the question. I, I guess that's what needs to be answered. And I think, you know, Red Dead, uh, Mass Effect 3 are two games I still want to beat, want to play, want to beat. And uh, and then uh, Halo Wars just to play it again. So, 
but uh, all right anything else guys no move on to the to the next thing to find out where i'm at on oh my gosh i'm unclicking things like crazy so uh community time cafepress.com slash this xbox life for all your community goods uh go buy a coffee mug everybody enjoys coffee or hot chocolate however you like to say it um all right multiple Get ways to... while you can because Ron's threatening to take down the store. Yeah, I. So if you want your gear, you better you better get it before he takes it down. Yeah, we're going we're <laughs> going to have a going out of business sale. All the prices are still exactly <laughs> what they are, but you might want to get them before the store is gone. <laughs> I am, yeah. It's it's on it's it's on it's it's on the the timer of being uh, you know, retired. <laughs> so, but uh. Uh, Community-wise, uh, you can send us voicemails, emails, uh, you can tweet us, uh, you can get on the Facebook group. Um, uh, the first thing we have today is a voicemail. Now, to send a voicemail, go to thisxboxlife.com and uh, click on the on the right-hand side. You'll see a send voicemail, follow the prompts, send it in. I download it, and then I press play like this, and you get to hear your voice. So this is uh, They Call Me Imes, sending another wonderful shameless plug slash voicemail. <laughs> Here we go. Yo, TXL, what is up, guys? This is Sean Imes. Just wanted to say hi and express how excited I am of the return of Wingman. The man is back. The rants are back. The heart of TXL has returned. <laughs> no offense to Robin Brun. I, that just came out wrong. It was horribly awkward. Um, but on a serious note, I love you guys. I love the show. You know, I've been a fan for many, many years. I'm, I, as long as you guys keep making them, I'll keep chewing through them like Jaws. <laughs> Anyways, later, guys. And uh, have a great show. And I hope to talk to you guys soon or see you online so I can show you how to really play video games. Peace out. Boom. Show me how to play <laughs> video games. Yeah, and he's just like the heart of the show. And I'm just like, oh. And, they, and then he said that. He's like, oh, wait, that came out horribly awkward. Isn't that weird? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I feel a rant coming on right now. And that's these people that come in and bring a voicemail in. And they got to sit there and pimp their own show. They try to do it <laughs> subliminally. They, they think they're cool. And they're, you know, they're never going to get noticed. Ooh, they won't recognize I pimped my own show in here. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? If, if Sean was here, I'd be like, right here. See that? I don't know if you guys can see that. See, that's what I got for you, Sean. <laughs> Mr. Chainsaw. Call me Imes. It, it, it's a Gears of War chainsaw. <laughs> it's a Lancer, baby. No, yeah. no, Sean's cool. Um, and, uh, and, and, yeah, he's cool. Yeah. I just got to give him some crap, so I had to give him a little rant. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, somebody uh, say who was it? Uh, Party up live asks, uh, do we have any forums? Uh, we used to. Um, we used to have it a part of our website, and then uh, we used what PHP BB, I think, is the forum software we used. And so, yeah. boy, did they have a security flaw, and we got hacked bad. I mean, so bad over we had over and over. Yeah, like multiple times, and I tried to clean it like twice. Um, it was just this sneaky line of code that got injected somewhere, and I think it got injected in the database, and it, that's where it was causing all the problems. And eventually, it was just like we got to get rid of it. Um, so that's why we actually went to Facebook. Um, and Facebook, you know, our, our closed group, you know, make sure you go out to facebook.com slash groups slash this Xbox life. And, uh, that's kind of where our forms are at, you know, cause that's really what forms are. You know, people post a topic and, and they chat about it and, and that's where like discord I think comes into play too, because I think that's a real good chat, you know, area to do it. Um, I've actually looked at new forms to see if these guys would be interested in bringing them back. Um, but I think with our Facebook group just being as big as, as it is, like I said, it's, it's tough to try to move 400 plus people, you know, may, you know, get them over. But, um, 
but yeah, yeah. that's that's the answer to that. So. But uh, other than voicemails, emails I mentioned, uh, you can email us contact at this xboxlife dot com, or you can go to the website and send us a uh, message from there. Uh, we got one of those, but it was spam. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so I like that. I was just like, wow, that's awesome. Um, hey, at least it wasn't a robot. Yeah, exactly. Somebody actually took the time to, to fill do that, that out. <laughs> yeah. Um, like I said, Twitter. Uh, we are this Xbox Life on Twitter. I'm BJ Swick thirty three on Twitter. Uh, do you guys use your Twitter very often? Wingman seven and nine, I think, is yours, Wing, and Presar is. Presar TXL TXL Presar. It is. I don't ever yeah. use it, so. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I do the this board game life one. Okay. More than the regular one. Okay. Yeah, and I, I think I'm the yeah. one. I use I use Twitter all the time. I actually I use it more yeah. as a as a news feed than I tweet out, um, because people really don't care what I say. Um, I re retweet a lot of programming and gaming stuff, but uh, but yeah, I'll answer anything you guys have if if you send it to this Xbox Life or BJ Swick thirty three. Uh, I answer them both, so, but, uh, all right, um, is there anything else that I had, um, hey, you know what, I got, uh, I don't know if we did this, I was gone when it happened, but we got, I gotta give a big old congratulations and a big shout out to, to our buddy Democulus, okay, because Democulus is now a daddy. He's oh. got a little gamer oh, yeah. in, his, in his house now, so a big, a big congratulations out to him, and uh, that's just awesome. So we're, yes, get his gamer tag registered though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little, 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 little Democulus, <laughs> Democulus <laughs> Junior. <laughs> but uh, yep. yeah, they, I mean, and that's that. That's really cool. So we have a lot of, you know, that's the big thing about our community is we're. Typically, most of us are older. We all have children and kids and stuff like that. We're gaming fathers and, and stuff, so that's really cool. Is that is that Demacius' first child? Or do we know? Yes. It is? Ah, oh, even is. better. Yep. So Yeah. <laughs> it's it's hard to it's hard to explain when you first become a father. So it's it's very it's it's awesome. Can't it's it's something you can't explain, you have to experience. But uh, very cool. Um, all right, what's new in games this week, uh, Rob? I gotta warn you. I put dates in there because any one game is on the new normal Tuesday release, and everything else is like throughout the week. So I put them sure. on there for you. All right, and I'll pass that along. Okay. <laughs> all right, for Xbox One this coming week, we have Lego Marvel's Avengers. So this is the second. Marvel game, really, isn't it? Because what was that first one? Lego Marvel, and now it's Marvel's Avengers. I wonder. Anyway. That, I had to double take that one too because I was just like, "Isn't this game already out?" <laughs> no, this is a new one. Okay. It definitely is. Okay. Yeah, and the first one was really good. That was the Marvel superheroes. Mm, I think so, something like that. Okay. Right. Yeah, the first one was really good, and uh, I'm thinking this one's probably as well because they some they team they seem to uh, knock it out of the park with each one of these. Actually, yeah, you're right. I'm actually looking at it's pinned to my uh, homepage or home on the Xbox One. It's Lego Marvel Superheroes. Right. Move at the front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Number one spot. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, then also on the 27th, we have Roblox or Roblox, if I want to plug myself there. Plug my name. And then uh, AIPD, Artificial Intelligence Police Department on the 29th, and This War of Mine, The Little Ones on the 29th. Fantastic, fantastic game. Yeah, I'm this looking War forward to that mine. one, actually. Yeah. And then on the 360, we just have Lego Marvel's Avengers. Right. And uh, Games with Gold, we still have a couple more days, about uh, one more week or so for the titles. Uh, for January, that, that's Killer Instinct Ultra Edition add-on for the Xbox One. You've got about another week left for that. Then Zero Z Heroes, yeah. or however you say it. <laughs> yeah, that's good for uh, through the middle of February, and then Deus Ex Human Revolution for the Xbox 360. 
Also, if you're gonna be making any purchases on Amazon, make sure to use our affiliate link. You can find that at thisxboxlife.com. Click on the big Amazon logo in the top right of the page. It'll take you to Amazon. It'll load a special cookie that will tell you to tell them that you came from this Xbox Live. We'll get like a little finder's fee for sending you their way. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help to show out a lot. So please use that each and every time you make a purchase on Amazon.com. And also, if you're on iTunes at all uh, with your uh, Apple devices, please do us a favor and rate us on the iTunes store. Uh, give us five stars. Give us a little review if you could. That'll help us out a lot by making us a featured show and more people can find out about this Xbox life. And uh, that is all. All right. Uh, the games, yes. uh, uh, we had a question here. Those are all indie games. Uh, they're all like X, uh, arcade games, Xbox Live arcade games. Yes, I believe so. Other than the Marvel, Lego Marvels. So I know this yeah. where mine is because it's on the PC and it's a small yeah. as well. So, but it's this war of mine isn't like. See, I see indie games as like having two classes. There's like the junky ones, and then there's the really good ones. It's one of the really good ones. Yeah, yeah. Compared to the other two, I've never heard of before. This war of mine yeah. I have and played, and it's good. Yeah. So, but, uh, and Amazon.com link. I've used it. <laughs> yeah, and the this war of mine that's kind of like not a sequel but it, it's not the original game right i don't know i saw that it's the little ones i'll have to look um i don't know if it's because it's coming on xbox if it's the original plus like dlc because i really don't yeah. know if uh this war mine has it had dlc i don't know what the dlc was i know i purchased it though right so all right. But it is the console version, regardless. Yes. Everybody good? Anything else? All good. All good. Uh, Party Up Live, uh, anybody that, that jumped into the Discord, um, there's the link again. Uh, sign up and everything, and I will grant your guys' uh, KXL rights when I get off here and, and uh, log in. So that'll give you a room or access to other chat rooms other than general and uh, we'll let you into the voice chats so and it is push to talk so you know be be prepared uh, you have to go into your settings to make sure you set up push to talk so but. all right guys that's all we have for 374 I'm gonna, and, what's that i'm gonna go play siege after this so if anyone out there wants to join carbide and i are gonna get on siege all right there you go brentley of uh, uh, brentley uh, just purchased it, I think this week. So might want to try to hit him up too. So I don't know if I got his tag, so you'll have to let me know what that is. Okay, offline. Will do. All right. But all right, guys. Everybody gonna be back next week for three seventy five. Yeah. Nobody taking off. Nobody has vacation. Nope. <laughs> so all right. We'll have a lot of division talk next week, probably. Maybe. We'll see. That's all our Facebook's been all week. I sorry. Sorry about that. We're gonna almost turn into the, I know when this game comes out, Baron, we're gonna probably become the official uh division podcast. Yeah. Well here here here's like my, every story I posted this week was on that. Here's my thing. When division actually releases, I'm streaming all of my division play. Um I've been prepping my entire setup for it. Uh I just actually uh, purchased um, an Elgato HD 60 Pro. It's on its way. Um, should be here on Tuesday. And uh, so I can hook that all up and I can actually put my Xbox through and stream to Twitch um, through my computer, not just through the Xbox Twitch app. I want full control of what's going on. So I got all that coming and some hum destroyers for my audio setup so I can get rid of this power wine that's coming through my wires which is annoying but uh other than that i'm i'm prepping for that because i want to stream it all so but cool. yep but thank you everybody we appreciate it we will be back next week and uh i don't know enjoy gaming
So I'm Brun BJ Swick 33. I'm Rob, also known as Prestar. Thanks for listening, everybody. Catch y'all next week. I'm Mark, aka Wingman709, taking off. <laughs>